Hey guys, Kevin here from Pwn Zone Gaming. Today we're going to be continuing my tutorial series on how to survive in Minecraft. This is part two, and today we're going to be discussing how to hunt for food, how to cook that food. Um, we're going to be looking for some coal to use as a fuel source for our stove. Um, we're also going to be upgrading the weapons we made in the last tutorial, and we're going to be creating a storage box to store our stuff in case we want to go out um, and don't want to take all of our stuff. So, um, if you haven't seen the first video, make sure and go back and check that out. It talks about making tools and surviving basically your first night. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to open up multiplayer and uh, open up our server. Alright, so when we left off, basically we were in our house for the night, so it should be daytime out. If you always want to check uh, if it's daytime, you can basically knock out one of your bricks and go out and check. Um, you can see here, uh, it looks like something's probably died in the night. Um, it looks like a skeleton, so picked up a couple of bones we can use later. So now what you'll see down in my bottom HUD, um, right above my inventory, is my health, and you'll see um, some little food items. They look like little chicken legs, I guess. And basically what that is, is it's your food, um, so or your hunger level. So you can see that I'm missing some food, so basically I need to get some food, because if it runs out and gets to zero, um, then I will die, or I'll start to lose health. So um, in order to get food, unfortunately we're going to have to massacre some animals. So, so you probably didn't sign up for that today, but... Um, what you gotta do. Um, you don't always get food when you kill something, so hopefully this other pig will give us something, otherwise we'll have to look um, a little bit further in order to get some food, but we're starting to run out of food. You can see we're down to three three food bars, so better get some something from this guy pretty quick. There you go. You can see we got a nice pork chop there. Now you can take and eat that raw if you put it in your hand. Um, you won't get as much health for that um, as one that you cook, but um, you can eat it raw if you get into a bind. So hopefully um, we'll be able to Maybe find another pig somewhere around here. Uh, looks like there's one all the way over there. Hopefully we can get another pork chop, and then we can hopefully get some coal uh, in order to start mining, uh, or in order to actually fuel our stove in order to cook this stuff. So uh, we're going to, and there's some cows up there too. You can also kill cows and get some beef. Um, but I'm using my sword because you will kill them much faster um, using your sword than your hand. So um, just to illustrate the point, if you take and put your food in your hand, um, you can take and make sure and right click, um, not left clicking, in order to eat that. So you can see that I just gained uh, back a little bit of health. Um, not that much, or not health, um, I gained back a little bit of my uh, hunger. But what we're going to do is actually mine some coal, so hopefully we can reach that. I might have to break this one in order for it to drop down there. So we're going to mine some coal because we're going to need this in order to fuel our stove that we built um, in the last episode. So, again, destroying these other blocks so that I can get to the coal. I could build a little ladder, but um, we'll just, I think that should probably be enough. Maybe we'll get a couple more pieces just in case we don't want to run out of coal. Coal's always a hot commodity. Now, you'll see that it's taking me a little bit to actually mine this, and this is because we made our last uh, pickaxe out of um, wood. And so what we're actually going to be doing is spending a little bit of time upgrading some of our tools in this episode. So that should be enough coal. And here's another pig if we want some meat. Um, later on, maybe we'll make a pig farm um, so that we can actually take and we'll save a couple of pigs for later in case uh, in case we uh, need them for some food. But we'll be focusing on maybe farming later. Uh, we'll probably make um, a pig farm so you can coax some pigs in there and then you can get them to reproduce or some cows or something. Um, as you can see, as I am running right now, if you double tap the forward key or whatever you have, um, Mine is W, so whatever your forward key is, if you double tap that, you can run, but you will um, run out of hunger faster, so you'll basically use up more of your food or your energy. So um, it does come at a little bit of a price, but it does get you places a little quicker. So we're going to go into our little hut here that we made in the last one. Leave the door open since it's daytime. Uh, actually, we don't want anything sneaking up on us, and there are creepers, which are very quiet, and they'll come up, and if they blow up, you'll probably die. Um, so... Make sure uh, you're always watching your back. So what we need to do is basically open up our furnace here. We built this in the last one. Remember, um, we came over here, and you can build it by taking and making cobblestone all the way around the outside, and that will make you a furnace. Um, you just grab it out of the right side there. So if you haven't made your furnace, you can go ahead and do that. But if you have, you're going to right-click on your furnace. We're going to put our coal in the bottom here because this is our fuel source. Then we can take and put our pork chops right there in the top, and you'll see that... Um, 
this coal lasts um, significantly longer than the wood we were using in the last episode and it'll cook it and you can even leave it there and you can see it continues to go um, while you're doing something else. So later on when we're smelting or doing something like that where it'll take longer to do um, than actually just cooking meat, um, this is one of the quicker things to actually do in Minecraft with a furnace, um, you can leave it and continue on with your business. So it seems like it's still going even though there's nothing in there. But anyway, what you can do is you uh, hit E again and put this down into your inventory. And now you can see that we have our cooked meat. And if we go ahead and eat that by holding our right button, you can see that we've now um, regained quite a bit of our hunger. Now we can save this one for later if we want, um, or we can eat it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you won't regenerate your health unless your food is all the way um, at the top. So you need to be not hungry at all in order for your health to regenerate if you take damage. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually um, make some new weapons so maybe we'll get a little bit more cobblestone I think we might have enough but you know a little bit more will never hurt so we're going to continue along digging here we should probably have oh I accidentally got onto my axe there you want to make sure you, again you're using the right tool for the job so we'll get a pick and we'll make some stuff so at most each of your tools will need I don't know about three pieces so we should have enough let's see what we got we got 21 yeah that should be good so we'll come back into our house, again, blocking it off just so that nothing else that we don't want in here, even during the day, um, will not get us. And what we're going to do is need to make some sticks. So if you remember um, how we did that in the last one, we took our wooden planks and we put them in a stick form. So two by two, and um, I guess I'll just take and you can right click in order to take and make... Um, or, and stack more sticks. You can hold shift to grab them all, so you make them all into it, or you can right click on your stack in order to grab um, just four more at a time. So I've made 24 there, so if I right click, you can see it goes up to eight and whatnot. So um, I don't want to do that, but um, I ended up just making most of it into sticks anyway. So what we want to do is first start by making our picks. So this is kind of a refresher from last time. So um, we're going to be making it out of cobblestone this time. So it's actually going to be a lot stronger. It's going to last longer and it's going to mine faster. So there is um, wood, there's cobblestone, there's gold, there's diamond, um, there's iron. So the higher up you get in your material, diamond is again the best. Um, the faster you're going to mine and the longer it's going to last. So we're going to start with two sticks as the handle. Then we're going to put three up the top, and that's going to make our pickaxe. So now you'll usually want to make a couple of these. Um, I should have enough if I wanted to make a couple. Um, basically, because if you're on a mining run and you're trying to look for some stuff, you don't want to be worrying about, do I have sticks to make a pick or whatnot? So you want to save a couple of these. So you can see I have the rest of my wood one, and then I have a couple of stone ones. So you're going to want to carry a couple of those at a time. Now for everything else, um, such as the sword, you'll have one stick, you'll have your cobblestone, um, and then you can make your sword. So stick at the bottom then two cobblestone okay so what we're going to do next is make our hoe so we'll take and put it like this so two on the top left um, and or one on the left and the middle and then two for the handle so we'll make that what else do we need a shovel uh, I believe a shovel is just two sticks here for the handle and then one at the top okay we need an axe an axe is one on the top left, and then one right under that, and then one to the right of that. So that will be our stone axe. And that's pretty much it. I think that's all of our tools there. So now, um, what else did I have for us to cover? Um, we've upgraded our weapons. we found a food source, so we're no longer starving to death. Um, we found some coal, so that's good. Um, we can power our stove now. You want to go and look for coal. Um, again, you can use charcoal or wood um, if you don't have any coal, but coal will last the longest. Um, and then we also need to make a storage box. So in order to do that, we might actually need some more wood. Um, probably shouldn't have used up all the wood by making our <laughs> our uh, sticks for our tools because we're going to need a little bit more wood. There's a nice little cavern here. I walked past that before. Uh, that's pretty cool. We'll have to check that out later. We're going to need another tree, and um, trees are, seem to be in short supply around here. So one of the next things we're going to be doing probably in a future video um, pretty soon is actually looking for a new home with some more trees. So what we want to do is, again, using the right tool, um, I realized I was watching my video um, for my last tutorial, and I realized that I accidentally had um, a... I think a hoe out or something. I was hitting the tree with something that was not the right tool. And I was like, why? That's why it was taking so long. But we'll do that. Get some more wood. Again, these make, um, I think, four pieces. So that should be plenty. Uh, make sure and pick it all up. And then we can hit E. And we can actually make our 
planks right here, yeah. So each piece of wood makes four planks. So we'll turn that all into planks, and then we'll head on back to our house. Again, double tap your forward key in order to run. So once we get back to our house, we're going to make a crate so that we can store our stuff. Because if you die, you don't want to lose it all. Um, it will stay if you do happen to die, um, especially if you're early, an early player. You might go out at night thinking, oh, it can't be that bad, and then you end up dying. Um, you want to make sure that um, your stuff does sit there for, I think, about five minutes or so. Um, so you have time to get back to it, but if you die in a weird spot or you're deep in a cave or something, um, it's always better to save stuff in a crate um, or in a chest that you don't want to take and lose. So we're going to be making that by going to our crafting table, grabbing your wooden planks uh, that we made from our raw wood, and you're going to be putting planks all the way around except for the middle, um, just like you would do for a stove except this time with wooden planks. And we're going to click on the chest and take that out, and we can put that in our hand. Um, we don't really need to carry on sticks. You want to try and keep some food in your hand in case you get attacked, um, then you can heal. So what you want to do um, is take and just grab that in your hand and then put it down by right clicking. So now what you can do is open that up and you can see you have um, plenty of room here. It's basically the exact same size as your inventory. And so we don't need to carry around bones, we don't need a flower, we don't need this sapling that we somehow randomly acquired. Uh, I won't need an arrow right now until we make a bow. And so you can take and put stuff in there that you find um, that you don't need to be carrying around on a regular basis. So, um, basically, it will stay right there in that chest. You can go along your business, come back, be like, oh, hey, I need this, and keep going along uh, in that manner. So, chests can be nice. Um, if you wanted to make, I think we might have enough wood to make, yeah, we have plenty of wood. If you want to make another chest, you can make a double wide chest by taking and making a second chest. Put it in your hand, go over, and right next to your first chest, hit it down, and you'll make a 2x2 two two chest. And now you have a mega chest, and it's got... Uh, twice the capacity of the first chest. So um, that's pretty sweet. It actually takes some pieces of those up together. So I think that's about all I've figured for this tutorial. Um, oh, it is turning night. Wow, that turned out uh, good. Looks like we got our timing down just right. So in the next tutorial, um, we will probably be going and looking for a new um, house. Um, we'll be probably be making a uh, better house in a better area so that... Um, we have a little bit more trees. Um, we have plenty of mining area around us, but we don't have very many trees or animals. So you want to make sure that you find something that um, can sustain you, because right now my only tree is quickly dwindling. So we're going to probably be looking around. I might do a little looking offline um, in order to uh, speed up that process. Then we might work on building um, a new house at our new location. So um, thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe, rate, and comment. Again, I will be continuing this series, so make sure and subscribe um, so that you'll be notified when those videos come out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.